the Joe Rogan experience. <laughs> well, I hope this doesn't make me look stupid, but oh yeah. Welcome to the Joe Rogan experience. On my panel with me tonight is none other than former President of the United States Donald Trump and Elon Musk. Sorry, Donald. I had to invite him on the show. I mean, he's one of my friends, and I really enjoy talking to him. So, here we go, Elon. That's weird. That's weird. Why do I always get the Unabomber mixed up with the Oklahoma City Bomber? Oh, boy. I'll tell you, I swear to God, one of these days, Joe, I'm going to sizzle you with my left fist, and you ain't going to like it, buddy boy. <laughs> Oh, wait, did you say you had Elon Musk on the show? My Uncle Ed used to stick a great big old checker in his, in his mouth and then just pour gravy straight from the bowl into his mouth. <laughs> it was a slop fest, let me tell you. Let me get up and really walk around and enjoy myself. Donald, you ever, like, do it without a condom? Do it without a condom? Joey, you blibbering idiot. I have four... Now make that three... I uh, have four kids. Yeah, four, that's it, four. Then... I do it without a condom many chance I get, Joey, my boy. Of course, the audience didn't want to hear that. Now, what was your other excuse for a turnover? Too high, be true. Go to the back computer and find out. You'll find out that Ra's al Ghul's set up for date night. But well, it's date night in the Coda house. All we want to do is just make it bounce. He's Lisa K. Turn me out. I'm not on a duty. Oh, no, I ain't singing, dude. Donald, why don't you tell us what wonderful prizes we all win this week on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Hey, are you guys talking about me, Wally Girl? <laughs> well, you weren't saying such nice things about me because I heard you. Don't think I didn't hear you because let me tell you something. I got ears here in Hong Kong, okay? I can tell when you're sleeping, I know when you're awake. You better be a good little boy for goodness sake. Hey, hey, you guys ready to get your brains replaced with robots? Maybe you should do that to Creepy Joe. He needs a brain replacement. <laughs> Uh, the robot wouldn't even know what to do. It'd be the dumbest robot ever. The dumbest robot ever. Boy, I tell you what. Let's sing our ABCs. Uh, let's sing our ABCs. Alright, ready? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J. Three, L, M, N, O, P, U, R, S, D, U, V. W-X-Y-N-Z Now I know my ABCs Won't you come and play with me? Yay! And then, you know, the end. Did you know, for the longest time, I thought L-M-N-O-P was all one letter? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Boy, my things are hurting my legs. Joe? You were supposed to start with K, and then go K, L, M, N, O, P, and then stop and give the rest to Elon. Come on, have you not ever watched the Three Stooges? We gotta work in pairs of three, Joe. Oh my goodness, I gotta take my shoes off, you know that? I feel uncomfortable. I just gotta take my shoes off, man. Kick off your shoes, Donald. Do you feel comfortable? Well, I'm glad you do, because 
You just get yourself a good car. Tell him he's one, Shawnee. Why is one and all, dear luscious, electric flying car? Yes, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. The all new luscious electric flying car comes with all new padded seats, a rear view window, and a whole lot more. All this could be yours in praise. Elon, I am disappointing you. I'm going to throw you through a window, tie you to a chain, and then uh, feed you to the monkeys if you are not good. Elon, I tell you what, buddy. No, I'm just I'm messing with you. Welcome to my show, but your voice sounds so messed up. You would think with your kind of whiz retreat for technology, you'd be able to whip you up something. To have you come in a little bit clearer, gosh damn it. Okay, well, I'm gonna ask you both a question then. Do you like Coca Cola? Because the answer is yes, then you are uh, a racist. Because if you like Coca Cola, then you must like the black and red, and the red represents the devil, and that makes the black look evil. So you're a racist. And that's all they say on campus all day long and blah, blah, blah. Well, the church bell rang, blue, blue, a la, la. You can just, you know, uh, I don't remember what you just said, but you can just say that you're the president of the United States and just walk right on in there. You know what I miss is when we had steakhouses. Like, I know we have Outback Steakhouse and Applebee's and whatever, but you don't find too much like Western Sizzlins. Geronimotic Lulu is when you're sitting there on the porch and you got all your G.I. Joes sitting down and you're blowing bubbles, pretending like the bubbles are sucking them up and it's the Cobra bubble. A uh, machine, whatever the hell, flying bubble piece of shit thing that was. And uh, your friends come over and then they start throwing your G.I. Joes into the bushes. You can't do anything about that. Turn that shit off, dude. Oh, man, for the fifth time tonight. For the fifth time time tonight i gotta go take out the garbage would you guys excuse me please oh man oh god no please don't okay well donald it appears as though we're in our final hour i wonder what casual mcquack would say about you hey stop scratching yourself like that god <laughs> You want to go for a roller coaster ride? Hi. Remember when we used to slap our color forms on the TV? And they would stick there, and then we used to move the color forms around on the TV to make it look like they were interacting with the people on the TV. Ha <laughs> ha. Gosh, dear. Gosh, dear, we're not going to turn off this fan. Why, you? Hey, what if I talk like this? <laughs> oh, forgive it. You know, one time George Wallace was actually thinking about Woiken, Woiken for my organization out in New Jersey. New Jersey. Home of the Philadelphia cream cheese steak. Ah, oh, just kidding. I told Ron Rupert, I said, with the butler, dead, and with the bead. Dad, I want the sports announcer. Dad, I want the lady in the Of course, I want her dead. Then, get. Now, Hagen said, I can't kill anyone. I'm just a lawyer. Well, that fucking lawyer costed me 23 million fucking dollars. Hate that bastard. That's how you treat dogs. You issue a command. Say, hey, poochie, poochie, poochie. And the dog fucking goes to you. 
he believe Joe Biden really wears diapers? I think he does. I think he does. The man is too old, too weak, and too stupid to be president. Donald Trump was in Waco, Texas one time. Let me turn this off. This is annoying. Who gets this thing? This prior wants to split our voices. There then, that's bad. Yes. Yes, mother, I do realize I've been on the phone for nearly over an hour now, so now I'm doing a Donald Trump and Pushkination. How does it sound, Mr. and Mrs. Rubik's Cube? Well, yeah, for Ty, he was a guest on my show. Hey, uh, producer guy, you still have a turn that fan off yet. That's why is Hulk Hogan staying in the Raven? And also Kevin Nash, they're all staring at me. And also Goldberg. Hey, have you guys ever seen that TV program, The Goldbergs? It's a, mo a show about the family in an 80, the 80s. Oh, yeah, I've seen that show. Uh, it, it's a pretty good, accurate show. I remember watching it. They had the Nintendo on there one time, and... Uh, one of the kids had a toy, it was the Terror Drum, the Cobra Terror Drum, which is a very expensive toy, uh, at the time, and especially now, I believe in, in pristine condition, that thing's worth thousands of dollars. Oh yeah, and the Terror Drum is massive. Can we get a photo of this thing, producer? Can we, let, let's let's pull that up real quick. Just look. I mean, just look at this thing. It is massive. And look look here at the top. This is this is really all you have. I mean, you got the top of all the control panels, and then you got the middle here where the uh, chip or whatever uh, shoots up through the elevator shaft. And the rest is just wasted space. It's just empty space. You got, like, gas pumps down here at the bottom, but... But there's really nothing to it. I mean, you could probably park a small vehicle, like, right here. Looks like maybe a uh, ATV or something, but... I bet this thing cost parents $100 back in the day. I bet this thing was about a hundred bucks, and now it's worth what, like thousands, like a couple thousand, in pristine condition. Hoo wee boy! I gotta go through some of my toy collection, see what I have. Well, I gotta tell you, they weren't very inventive, were they? Now, when they made Castle Grayskull, they did a lot of play features, including the trap door. The ladder that you could climb to, the uh, robot, it was a cardboard cutout robot. But you also had the weapons rack, and that punching thing that when you punched it, it spun around. Uh, many features, many features. I mean, they could at least put the Cobra throne room in here. Yeah, and from what I'm looking at, the price range varied. Like, I'm getting one for $60, I'm getting one for $49. There was even one for $39, so I don't know if that was the prices going down as the years went on and they weren't selling this thing. But, um, I got the G.I. Joe USS flag. It was retailed at $100, and that was... $500 solid. The USS Flag was one of the biggest toy play sets ever produced and the most expensive at the time. And, and I think it still holds the record for the biggest uh, toy play set ever produced. I mean, just look at this thing. It is ginormous. It's as big as a coffee table. Look at it. Yeah, can we get a look at this thing? I've seen it before, and I know it's... Whoa! Guys, dude, check this out. 
comfy table. My ass, this thing could be used as a dining table. Look at the size. You could eat off of this thing, dude. Look at the size of that. And the kids on the box really look like they're having a good time playing with it, don't they? Man, those are some... Um, enthusiastic looking kids there. Anyway, yeah, this thing is freaking huge, dude. Not only that, but what I'm seeing here on eBay, this thing, the lowest price is 2000 and then I think the highest price I'm seeing is like $10,000 for this thing to be complete and in pristine condition and in the box. I can't imagine, like, the box this thing must have come in. That must have been huge. Oh, yeah, look at that. Taking up shelves and shit. Well, anyway, gentlemen. Well, gentlemen, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but I think it's time to close this down and start wrapping things up. Um, but before we go, I'd like to thank my guest, Elon Musk, and, of course, Donald Trump, as always. And, as always... Donald Trump, would you like to play us out? Oh, before we do that, though, Elon, you got any final thoughts? Well, I would love to play us out, Joe. Okay, as usual. Oh, wait, Elon, I, sorry, dude. Oh, man, I stepped on Elon by accident. I'm sorry, guys. Go ahead, Elon. What, what's your final thoughts? Well, first of all, I'd like to say that I'm sorry for my... Uh, voice kind of getting weird and cutting in and out. My wireless invisible microphone along with my wireless invisible headset, which is just like little tiny AirPods that go inside your ear so deep that you can't even notice that they're there. But I would like to say that I, I very much enjoy being on tonight's broadcast and we'll have to do it again sometime. Well, thank you very much for that, Mr. Musk. Now, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we enjoyed making it. And we'll see you again next time. But in order to see you again next time, don't forget to subscribe to the Hebrew channel for more awesome Joe Rogan and Donald Trump shit. Until next time, this is Donald Trump saying, God bless America, and good night, everyone. And don't forget to eat pineapple. I'm not going to say why, but they're, they're kind of good for you. Oh, and one more thing. Do, 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 do. God, I never get tired of doing that. Never get tired. Good night, everyone. Hey, has anybody seen my dog? He responds to the name Bully Juice if he shout Bully Juice three times, he's more likely to appear. I took him for a walk in the woods, and then when I turned my back, he was gone. So please, if you've seen him, give me a call. Oh, what is this a chicken leg that someone left laying around here? Well, shit, I'm going to eat this shit. Hey, has anyone seen my chicken leg that I just left randomly laying around? What's that? Who ate it? Oh, gosh damn it, Alex Jones. That's it. I'm suing your ass. Doo 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 doo! That's all, folks.